Alright, welcome back cheese lovers. In this video, I'm going to address a sort of common way that I've actually experienced um, on how to get hacked or have your game taken over by someone else. And this is by a function called require. And uh, sometimes a malicious script will look like this. And in that case, you want to remove it immediately in most cases. Uh, and let me actually move my head. <laughs> All right. So we have require, and then it's basically just going to say require, and then a bunch of numbers like that. And obviously, um, that doesn't look like a an exploit or anything bad. And that's because it's one line, and it's literally just numbers. <laughs> but what this actually does is get a module script from the Roblox servers and basically run it. And the issue is you can't actually see the module scripts in some cases. It'll work without it being visible for other people to use. And um, yeah, so this will basically run, usually it'll be malicious code. So yeah, I'll show you how, how people do it. So I'll show you how to make it, although I severely recommend that you don't ever do this for malicious purposes because that could get you banned it's just not a good idea overall for the people involved so what you need to do is make a module script called main module i believe and you'll see in here this module script looks a little like this so it says local module equals curly braces and then it says return module and now i can make this module say warn and then I'll say, uh, in quotation marks, your game has been hacked. Like that. And you will see that if we run this, well, not yet. Um, first, we need to actually publish this to Roblox so that it can be on the servers for it to call. So I'm going to right-click and then I'm going to say, save to Roblox. And then we are going to just make it new model, main modules, fine for this example. And you'll see it has an ID, which is looking very similar to what I was talking about before. And then you have a link, which will actually take you to your page where it is hosted. So I'll show you in a second. Yes, this is my browser and it opened this up just now. It said main module, and this is the ID. You can also copy it from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that ID. And now, as long as the game is published, and this game is already published because I had to re-record this video, um, all you need to do is say require and then put in the ID of that script. And you can also get that from the web page. It's in the URL right there. And yeah, if you run this, and keep in mind, I don't have the words run or warn your game has been hacked anywhere. But what happens is it actually says your game has been hacked. So, yeah, that's clearly a bit of an issue. So I would recommend deleting any scripts with this immediately. Also, I'd recommend, um, just to put this out there in general, um, to not use free models if you don't have to. Because free models, while they can be very helpful can contain scripts and obviously you could use free models without scripts but if you do want to use them make sure actually right now the script search is sort of broken and it doesn't show you or the search here it doesn't show you all the items for everything and this um, for example what you need to do is look through see see this says eight scripts what you need to do is actually go ahead and delete eight scripts from this model if you want to make sure it's safe to use and the issue i'll show you here in this case it seems to be working just fine but in some cases it doesn't show all them but you can search script in the explorer and delete some of them so yeah that is a pretty much it. And um, also one thing to mention, I guess, is um, these scripts can be helpful. And obviously, um, in this example, this won't work if there's no scripts in it. So you want to, if you do want to use those scripts, 
if you're a scripter and you understand everything, just go ahead and look through every script and make sure there's nothing malicious happening. Or maybe ask, like, a scripter friend or anything like that. And, yeah, I just want to make this video because there's been a lot of um, talk about um, Tubers93, which is a sort of hack hacker in quotation marks. They are just, they're using backdoors to um, do alerts in some games and stuff like that. And, yeah, I just wanted to make it clear that this is a way to do that. And, yeah, if you liked the video, please consider hitting the like button, as well as subscribing to the channel and turning on post notifications, and share this with all your developer friends if they don't already know. And, yeah, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.